A virtual conversation between parents and school officials over concerns about safety in Baltimore County Public Schools. There's a narrative in the community that we are not holding students accountable for their behaviors. That simply is not true. Violent and aggressive behavior has resulted in suspension from school and the bus. We are taking action. School officials say overall aggressive behaviors are down in the first part of this school year compared to the same time last year. But note there's been an uptick in adult disruptive behaviors on school grounds. We have had to um, issue no trespassing um, letters um, and sometimes it's just for the school. Sometimes depending on the behavior is for all of BCPS. Uh, our law enforcement and police officers have had to uh, press charges against adults and their families uh, for the disruptive uh, behavior. Parents were encouraged to write into the virtual town hall with questions and the role of social media came up. Officials say unfortunately social media can sometimes work against them when resolving conflicts. Somebody will post something on social media and all of a sudden all that work is undone and um, students are using social media as a vehicle to um, to engage students in non-productive behaviors. Another parent questioned why kids who cause problems don't go to an alternative school and stay there. Alternative school settings were never meant to be permanent places for all students. Every student has a right to a free, appropriate public education and to receive that education in the least restrictive environment. School officials say many of the problems start in the community and spill over into the schools, so everyone needs to get involved and invested in our students. This issue requires our parents, guardians, students and communities stepping up and also saying enough is enough. For more information on Baltimore County Public Schools safety plan, you can visit our website, WBALTV.com. Reporting live in Towson, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News.